Okay, hey, how's it going? My name is Gary Cleve. This is the tutorial video for the most gnarliest, most hardcoreest of hardcore openings uh, I've ever seen with this knife. I don't know if there is a more difficult opening. If there is, you just let me know. This trick, I've been on this trick for about maybe at least five months, probably six months since I first figured out that it could happen to today when I'm hitting you know, more than 50%. I throw it a few, three, four times in a row. Uh, it, this trick, you can lend it to traditional grip or you can lend it to reverse grip. Either way, it constitutes a tornado. This trick is, um, well, get if you want to learn this, get ready to just spend some time with your knife. Um, so anyway, here's how to do it. So you're going to be doing the, the, the preponderance of this trick is all about the launch. Um, other than that, it's just watching the thing in the air and, and seeing when to grab it when the handles come together. But you've got to do a lot of things right during this launch period in order to even get to the uh, possibility of, of completing the trick in either traditional or reverse grip. All right, so here's what you're going to do. There are really three things that you've got to focus on during this launch, and they are it's it's all complicated it's not really complicated but you're just gonna have to put your time in is what it's all about um, all right so first hand position you're gonna be creating like all cleave style tricks you're gonna be creating pressure on the knife to make it do something now with the Oscar you're down here or I am anyway I'm down close to the tank with the tornado I'm about two-thirds of the way up this is the sweet spot on this trainer uh, your knife is going to weigh differently. It's going to have a different action speed. Um, so you'll just need to work with that to find out the sweet spot of where you need to be applying your pressure. You need the side of your thumb as usual, and you need uh, the fingerprint area of your first finger. Those are, that's, that's what you're holding on with. All right, so you start the knife like, like this with the handles facing out. You can start it like this with the handles facing into you. You might have better luck with that. When I first started learning this trick, I was having equal terrible luck with, with both uh, handles out or handles in. Um, what I've found works for me now is handles facing out. Um, and so this is how I start. Two thirds of the way up, handles facing out. All right, you're gonna do about three things at the same time. First, you're gonna create your spin for the tornado with this wrist action. So you're gonna be cocking your hand this way and you're getting a flinging motion like this. All right, now the, the knife starts horizontally in this plane. What you need to do while you make this twist is you need to change the axis from horizontal to vertical. When this knife leaves your hand, it needs to be in a vertical position, orientation, like that, straight up and down. Uh, so you want, while you're making your twist, you're actually going to be twisting the knife as well, just like that. Now, when you get to this point, when your your wrist is lined up straight, that's your launch point. This is when you snap. Now, the amount of snap, with all cleave style tricks, the amount of action, uh, amount of pressure you put on them radically dictates what the knife is going to do. Is it going to go fast or is it going to go slow? Um, with the tornado apply a lot of pressure let me tell you that because if you don't what's going to happen is once you launch it the knife is going to spin around and it's going to look cool and you might catch it but it's not going to open the key to making this thing open on its second trip around is applying the right amount of pressure and it is a fair amount of pressure all right so here we go so we start like this with the knife flat we spin, we twist, we pop. Now, what happens in the air? You let go. All right, the knife is gonna come around. It's gonna partially open. It's gonna come around one more time and it's gonna fully open. And that's when you're in your catch mode. Uh, it may swing one more revolution around before you catch it and you'll get it in reverse. Or you may pop this open and it pops open, comes around and you you catch it in reverse after like one and a half rotations. Um, that's pretty common too. Either way, that constitutes a tornado. If you get spin action in the air, well, you knew that was gonna happen. If you get spin action in the air, this thing pops open, spins around, it doesn't really matter how you catch this thing. If you catch the handles together and the blade is out, that's a tornado. Um, and that's it. So, like I said, well, first, uh, 
or I recommend don't don't try it with a sharp knife. I don't I really at this point probably would be trying it with a sharp knife. And this but this knife is pretty dull. This knife is actually just dull and rusty. It's super pointy, but but the main thing with this knife and why it doesn't work so well for me is this knife action, the action, the weight, I don't know what it is, but this knife does not like to open. Um, no matter what I do, uh, it's really difficult for, for the knife to for me to get it to actually pop all the way open. I don't know what it is, but anyway, um, see, it wants to just stay together, and I'm, I'm putting like a lot of pressure on there. Okay, so anyway, that's the uh, that's the tornado. I hope it works for you, and um, God, I hope it works for me sometime too. <laughs> all right, there it is. All right, hope you like the video, and uh, there'll be more on the way. I'm sad to say, y'all stay cool.